We'll be demonstrating the install on a Wrangler today of the Taj windshield guard kit. The kit is pre-shaped and pre-molded to fit the windshield on this vehicle. Uh, we've already demonstrated, uh, we will demonstrate our installation tools. Uh, the first step of the install is to thoroughly clean the windshield. If you have any sort of ceramic coating or particularly difficult material to remove, you can use isopropyl alcohol. Otherwise, go straight to your slip solution, which was the baby shampoo uh, mixed into this spray bottle here. Uh, always wash the windshield two to three times before you begin because you really want to make sure everything gets off. Also, wash the area around the windshield because as you're moving the film onto the window, it could be easy to actually catch some material. Uh, and then if you end up with any sort of specks or dust or particles underneath the windshield film kit, it will show up as little bubbles. It'll be really obvious and it'll ruin the install. Here are the install tools we're using today. We have a squeegee, a hard card, a white scrub pad. Uh, within the tube of the kit, you'll have your Clearex HD, which is a treatment that we're putting on at the very end. You also need to have some baby shampoo as well as a spray bottle, either 16 or 32 ounces. Now that we clean the window, uh, we will move on to the wet check step. The first step is to, again, get the window thoroughly wet with your slip solution. And then after you unroll the kit, the side with the sticker is the lighter side, the back side. So it will go towards the window. This step is obviously a lot easier with two people. And the goal of this step is just to make sure that the window uh, then you have the correct kit for the window that it fits perfectly across. Spray the outside of the window, the outside of the film. And you can just use your hands to massage in bubbles and verify that it fits. This is also a good time to check that your slip solution is slippery enough. So I'm just checking to make sure that I can move the window easily, move the film easily on the window. So he's holding the film with the liner towards me. Again, the label is on the side of the liner. And I'm going to spray his hands. The reason I'm spraying his hands is to make sure there's no dust on his fingers. And again, I'm spraying the film. Okay, so now that everything's thoroughly wet, again, you want to make sure your fingers are wet while you're peeling it. Otherwise, you'll get fingerprints uh, within the film and on the adhesive. So I'm going to wipe down my fingers as well. And while your helper is holding the film, you can just take one finger and start to get an edge on the liner. And as you're peeling it, you want to make sure you spray that area. And just carefully peel straight down, spraying everything that you're covering as you go. And this, we will discard that liner when we're done. Make sure the window is wet with a slip solution. And again, I'm spraying my fingers again, making sure they're thoroughly wet with the slip, slip solution before I Grab the other side of the film. And then place it back on the window. And again, before we did all this, we thoroughly washed the car, uh, not just the windshield, but also the area around the windshield. Because as you can see, as we're, as we're placing it on the window, it does want to move around a little bit. And if it comes outside of the window and gets on the paint here and there's dirt on the paint, we'll pick that up. They can wick up underneath the film on the window and it will be visible after the install is done. And you spray the outside of the, the film, getting nice and soapy again. We're just going to make sure that it's, there's no overhanging edges. So, right here, I have an overhanging edge, so I'll move it up a little bit. Any sort of overhanging edge will cause it to eventually, over time, peel away. The first step is you can use your hands, getting the larger bubbles out from underneath the film. We're not really locking it in place yet, so it's still going to move around. So I have, I'm using one hand to kind of work out any of the largest bubbles, and the other hand is still holding it in place. So now that we have it roughly in place, we've gotten some of the bigger bubbles off. We'll do a couple very easy vertical strokes right here in the center. Uh, and just to lock it in place so it doesn't move around. And then I'm going to do one nice easy stroke horizontally right down the middle. And then I'll mark out these corners that I left. Again, this is a nice easy pass. I'm just pushing up the beginning of the moisture 
We're going to come back later and do additional harder passes. You're always pushing with the squeegee as opposed to pulling. So we can watch the moisture as it's leaving. And I'll do the same for the other side. Now that I finished the first easy pass, I'm just going to take a lint free rag. I'm just going to get that moisture that I pushed out and remove it. The reason I'm doing this is if, again, if there's any little bit of dirt around the vehicle, uh, the area around the windshield, it can actually wick up back in there uh, and pull itself underneath the film. Now that we've done the first pass, driving out the, a little bit of the moisture, we're going to get straight outside the window. And we'll start with horizontal pass right down the middle. And I'm pushing a little bit harder this time, and all the way across the windshield. Still not pushing as hard as I can, just a little bit harder. And we're going to take a third pass. And this time I'm going to be wanting to push uh, really hard, driving out any bit of moisture I can. Pushing very hard in the windshield. The final step is to seal the edges. So then you're going to spray the whole windshield. And you take your felt line hard card. You take the felt edge. And you press very hard right on those edges. Trying to make sure they're all pressed down tight to the windshield. The final step of the install is to apply the Clearex. This is a wax-based hydrophobic treatment. Helps the windshield wipers uh, glide across the film, prevent scratching, as well as helps water beat up. Okay, now it's been 30 seconds to a minute. I'm just coming back to the original side. Then I'm just wiping off all the wax. Nice big circles, evenly above it. Now that we finished the install, you want to let the film dry out and sit on there without driving the car for about 24 hours. And you want to avoid any car wash or hard driving for about five days to a week.